Uh, some 20 years ago, uh, some local breeders saw the need to have a summer show, a spot where exhibitors could uh, take their dairy cattle and promote them and uh, get some hype created as we headed into the fall shows uh, at Toronto and Madison. A lot has changed over those 20 years, but definitely the relevance of this show hasn't. As we've seen today by the turnout of cows and exhibitors, the show uh, remains very relevant and definitely is a springboard towards those fall shows. And on that note, Kyle and I would both like to thank today's show committee for asking us to officiate over their show today. I'd also like to thank Kyle for assisting me today. Back in January when Adrian called and asked me if I'd judge a show, I uh, of course agreed and he said we'd like you to uh, use an associate for the show that day and he said we have somebody in mind for you to use. Me being me, I said well let me, uh, let me look into that a little bit and uh, let me look through the judges list and uh, let me see who's available and I'll get back to you on that. As it turned out, uh, I picked Kyle and Kyle was the guy the show committee wanted, so everybody was happy in the end. Uh, it's been a long, hot day. It's been a tremendous cow show and I'm not going to drag this out anymore. I'm going to go out and select my champion, my reserve champion, and my honorable mention, and then I'll give you some reasons. When these two pair of four-year-olds came into the class, we fell in love with the pair of them. They are different cows, but they are truly the best two cows here today. For the same reasons in the class, we give the champion cow a little bit of advantage in her femininity, her breed character up to her head and neck, and just a little advantage in her overall width and symmetry to her out here today. Our reserve champion cow, the second place four-year-old, she just overpowers our, our uh, long-time production cow. She's higher at the top of her chine. And she's just more massive than this beautiful, beautiful fifth cap cow that we have for honorable mention today. Thanks very much. <laughs>